Okay, let's just jump straight into this. So Muddy Waters Research is a short selling company and yesterday they made some very outrageous claims about lemonade. So that's what I'm going to uncover today. And then I'm going to show you a very fundamental flaw that they made during their research. And it's almost laughable, it's really funny. So stay tuned for that. And then I'm going to show you Shai Winninger's um, response to this uh, short seller report, which is very good as well. And then finally, we're going to talk about the stock price. So let's jump straight into it. So Muddy Waters Research tweeted this yesterday. MW is short lemonade because it has an egregious security vulnerability and utterly failed to secure customer personal identifiable information. Customer PII has actually been indexed by Google and other search engines. Many customer accounts can be accessed without any authentication at all. And then they went on to say Lemonade should immediately take its site, API and app offline to remediate. Breach seemingly existed since July 2020. Lemonade must investigate scope and breach of uh, and sorry, of breach and inform all potentially affected customers. We think it's likely a breach that has occurred. So if you're very confident, you wouldn't say we think, would you? But what's really funny is one of their supposed victims of this breach, his name is Reed Sherman and Muddy Waters Research retweeted this. So one of Muddy Waters Research security experts was able to send me a PDF of my renter's insurance policy less than, in less than 15 minutes after this was first discovered. Lemonade, shut your shit down immediately. Okay, so I thought this is interesting. Let's do a bit of research on Reed Sherman and who this person is. To be honest, I didn't really need to do any research. I literally did two clicks and this is what I found. So Reed Sherman turns out to be the lead analyst of Wolfpack reports. So I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. So he's an analyst himself. That's interesting. Um, and who is Wolfpack reports? So I just typed it in on Google. And um, when you click on their website um, and look at some of their research, so check out these titles. Ehang, a stock promotion destined to crash and burn. Sounds like short selling to me. Wolfpack is short remark holdings. That is definitely short selling. Um, what else have we got? So Inspire Medical Systems, a nightmare investment. Another short selling report. Um, GTT, a broken roll up. So basically, Wolfpack Research is a short selling company. Wolfpack, a short selling research firm. So this is just one of the major flaws that Muddy Waters Research did, basically. I mean, so you've literally got Muddy Waters Research, a, sh a short selling company being helped by uh, Wolfpack Reports analyst who are another short selling company. So that basically... Um, debunks anything that they're saying. So, I mean, it, it, what what more can I say? Um, you can have a look at their um, open letter to Daniel Schreiber. Um, I'll, I'll leave the link in the description below. It just details the same things that they were talking about in their tweets. But I love Shai Winninger's uh, response, just four tweets and it kind of just shuts them down completely. So let's let's go through them. Let's set things straight up front. So what Muddy Waters research found were links to four insurance quotes shared by Lemonade users themselves, aka they loved it so much they shared them. That's not vulnerability, that is by design. So we designed our quotes to be shareable. If someone wants to send their quote to their family, friends or mortgage bank, they can. By the way, it turns out most people, uh, sorry, it turns out people post their quotes on Pinterest and UX blogs and these are the ones they stumbled upon. Since Google indexes Pinterest and blogs, these links end up being discoverable on Google. Muddy Waters Research, I hope you didn't spend too much time on this. So I love that. Just simply shut them down in four tweets. So basically, pretty much what Muddy Waters are saying is almost like me um, running down the street, telling everyone my bank details, shouting it out, out loud and then going to my bank and saying you're you're breaching my information my personal information so it's just completely ridiculous so i'm not even going to go too much into the technicals of what they're saying because it's just so ridiculous muddy waters i mean at least citron gave half an effort so anyway let's have a look at the stock price so you can see that actually after this report we've actually done pretty well to be honest i mean the general market's up but 
if anything, potentially, hopefully a short squeeze and hopefully Muddy Waters uh, suffers from it. I don't know. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, I'll be grateful if you can smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future updates. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about this uh, research? And uh, what do you think about Daniel Shriver's, uh, sorry, Shy Winninger's response? Personally, I'm planning to hold this stock. What are you planning to do? Um, and if you found it useful, share this with your friends. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.